Hey everybody, we're back. Hi guys. <laughs> Today we're bringing you some Koga versus Sabrina as we continue going through the OG Kento Gym Leaders. So I'll be playing Sabrina, Kyle will be playing Koga. So let's talk a bit about what these decks want to do. <laughs> I'll start. You want to get poisoned? No, but I'm gonna. There's, you're gonna get poisoned. At least hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, nice token. <laughs> Yeah, so my ace card's Koga's Beedrill. Uh, first attack, you'll either get... If heads on a coin flip, you'll get Paralyze and Poison. And 20 damage. Koga's Wheezing wants to either poison you with its attacks, or it will blow up. <laughs> Probably a lot of blowing up. Koga's Cocoon is actually a cool card. It has Emerge, which once during your turn, before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads... Search your deck for an evolution card named Koga's Beedrill, so it can actually search it out and put it on Koga's Kakuna. This counts as evolving Koga's Kakuna. That's pretty handy, That's huh? That's probably the most useful card I've seen out of all these decks. <laughs> it actually wants to look for your ace card. Wow. Koga himself, if an attack from a Pokemon with Koga its name is damaged to defend a Pokemon this turn, the Pokemon is then poisoned. Ouch. So you poison. Any attack can just poison. Yep. And Fuchsia, Fuchsia City Gym. Once during each player's turn, that player may flip a coin. If heads, that player may shuffle one of his or her Pokemon play with Koga in its name and any cards attached to it into his or her deck. So let's say yes, and it's about to die. You have a chance to save it. It's like a worse uh, super scoop up. Dang. Yeah. It kind of sucks that it just goes in your deck, but could save something absolutely kind of weird i like that koga just poisons <laughs> it's all poison and explosion that's that's the <laughs> that's, ninja way that's the koga way the way of the shinobi okay nick what do you got so for sabrina us? is all about tricks <laughs> and shenanigans so sabrina's alakazam is the main card and it has a power pokemon power psylink so psylink lets it uh, always have as long as like when it's on the field, it always has a copy of every every attack your psychic Pokemon in play have, including their energy costs and anything else required in order to use those attacks, such as discarding energy cards. This power can't be used if it's uh, asleep, confused, and paralyzed. Mm. It has a. Uh, it can be. That's nice. So it pretty much has multiple attacks. Yeah. So if I have like a full bench of like stock stacks Pokemon, yeah. I can just use their attacks because his his only his real attack is kind of has a drawback at four for sixty the Mega Burn, and it can only use this at, and you can't use that attack during your next turn. Mm -hmm. So it's in, gives you options to still attack with him. Yes. So you can do There's that every some, other turn. But probably some good attacks too from your other Pokemon. Well, let's go with Jinx then, because Jinx is pretty useful as well. Helping hand, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon, remove any number of damage counters from that Pokemon, then draw that many cards. So I can heal you and draw up to how many cards you yeah, have Yeah, so if you're something. healing something that doesn't even matter, yeah. like, you can draw... A, oh, I'm trying to six, knock that five, out. Four, or five, six, seven cards, which is a very good trade-off, like... And like a Haunter, a Haunter likes to put things to sleep. Nightmare does 20 damage and puts the defending Pokemon to sleep. And also a Shadow Attack that can attack benched Pokemon. Flip a coin if heads, and if, you're, if your opponent has any benched Pokemon, choose one of them, and this attack does 30 damage to it. So the trainers are really tricky as well. We have Sabrina's Gaze. Each player shuffles his or her hand into their deck and sh draws a new hand of the same number of cards. Okay, it's like a reload for every mm -hmm. week, both players. Sabrina, take all energy cards attached to one of your Pokemon with Sabrina in its name and attach them to another one. So, like, if I wanted, That's like... That's nice. A little energy yep. switching, like, swapping. If I've been loading this one up and I need something out there, yeah, bam. Switch out to a big guy. Up a month. And Sabrina's psychic control. Flip a coin. If heads choose a trainer, yeah, choose a trainer card in your opponent's discard pile hmm. that isn't put in play like that isn't put in play like plus power, or mistress fossil, or anything like that stays mm -hmm. out. You may use that card as if it were in your hand. It if you do everything required in order to play that card, the card stays in your opponent's discard pile. Okay, yep. So yeah. 
I can use your trainer cards. Yeah, like potions, gust of winds, mm -hmm. switches. Yep. Some good stuff you can <laughs> steal. So yeah, I'm all about tricking you out. I like how these decks look. Yeah. Very flavorful. So while we're going to get ready, you should see the rules we're playing by. <laughs> yep, so we're doing retro old rules where you can attack first turn, draw first turn. There's no supporter, so you can just... Any items you want, yep. as long as you can. If you have a whole handful of trainers, you can just bop, 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 bop. Yep. So, yeah. We're going to keep that up there, and we're going to shuffle up and get at it. So, odds or evens? Odds. Oh, I go first? Go. You ready to get poisoned? Yeah. A lot. Not so, if I put you to sleep. Yeah. I didn't check what weakness my stuff has. For the stuff that you had out, um, your bee drills were fire, and then your wheezing was uh, sidekick. That sounds about right. So you're probably a good half and half, so I might... Yeah. We'll see. I'd just be happy if I can pull off a Kakuna and its ability right away. Mm -hmm. like... Cut. Nasty bee drill. <laughs> Well, I guess it might incentivize you for your wheezing to just explode if mm -hmm. you need <laughs> Okay. There's basics. All right. I have that. Okay. Depending on how fast, depending on how fast this goes, we might do a game two. Not bad, huh? It's pretty gnarly. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I'll go first. It's a Weedle. I have a Drowsy, and my bench is a Ghastly. Okay. Draw a card. Okay. Interesting card to draw. Uh, energy. Sting for 10. Oh, thank you. Your move. No poison yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Psychic energy on a drowsy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and use energy support. Search your deck for any psychic energy. Show that card to your opponent and put it in your hand. That's nice. <laughs> do you like ramp? It's my favorite thing to do. That's well, not really ramp, but yeah, it's like it's like magic's mad, um, like mana fixing. Yeah, it's like it's like a plus one, but it doesn't put it into play. It's a very green thing to do. <laughs> okay. All right. Drawing a card. Cool. Another basic. Koga's Ekans. <gasps> Evolution! We got there, buddy. Okay. I thought you said it was going to be gnarly. Okay. Okay, once we're going to use the Pokemon power, Emerge. Once during your turn before you attack me, flip a coin. If had, search your deck for Evolution card. Essentially, just look for Koga's Beedrill, put it on Koga's Kapuna. Uh, sad. Whatever. Okay. Uh, energy here. Toxic secretion. Flip a Ew. coin. If heads, if any Pokemon is now poisoned, it now takes 20 poison damage instead of 10 after each player's turn. Ooh, you're poisoned. There we go. Poor Drowsy. I got a poison mark. Right? Yep. So you take 20 between turns. Between turns, 20. Who? Uh-huh. Here we go. Sabrina's Abra. Mm -hmm. Sabrina's Porygon. Loading up the bench. 
put a psychic energy on Ghastly. Okay. And evolve Ghastly into Sabrina's Haunter. Mm -hmm. Energy support. Okay. This is going to be scary because <laughs> you know what's going to happen, huh? Uh huh. So, between turns, between turns, I get a prize card Sabrina knockout, a drowsy knockout. <laughs> Drawing a card. Hmm. I'm gonna play Fuchsia City Gym. Did hmm. you emerge? Try again. Maybe it's coming. It might be in here. That'd be the worst luck. That'd be terrible. There it is. Fuel. Beedrill. Any cuts? Nope. Okay. Energy? Uh, I'm gonna do something tricksy. Gust of wind the <gasps> counter. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Hyper needle. Flip a coin. If Tails' this attack does nothing. Either way, I can't use the uh this attack, as long as Beedrill stays in play, even if I put it on a bench, it won't let me use it again. So, if I flip heads, you take 70. Oh, lucky. Here you go. Nothing happens? Nope. Hyper needle, huh? Mm hmm. Energy on the Haunter. Mm -hmm. Nightmare 20, and the, and the Pokemon is now asleep. Wake up, please. That's bad. He's sleeping. <laughs> it's essentially paralyzed. Okay, drawing a card. Pidgey. Ekans. Pass turn. Okay. I woke up. Here you go. Energy onto Sabrina's Abra. Mm -hmm. Nightmare. 20 in sleep. Between turns. Ugh. Oh. Not a fan of that. Energy on two Ekans. Pass turn. Still sleeping. Another energy onto Abra. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nightmare twenty asleep. Well, it's already asleep. But okay. still sleeping. That's terrible. Another energy in Ekans. Pass turn. Oh, now you're awake. A little too late there, though. I guess I could have done that. Oh, well, uh, I messed up. <laughs> I still would have got Tails anyways. No. Uh, <laughs> energy on the Porygon and Nightmare 20. Deadlies. 
Got my praise card. Beckons coming out. Energy on Pidgey. Fast acting poison. Flip two coins. If both are heads, the final Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. Oh, ooh. Oh. You're confused and poisoned, sucker. And does 10 right off the rip. Yep. Yep. So, confusion is if you try to attack, you flip a coin. If tails, you take 20. And if you try to retreat and you flip a coin, if tails, it does nothing. You don't retreat. But if you get your attack has an effect where you have to like discard cards you still have to do that to attack with it gotcha so, that's really nasty here go you draw a card oh yeah that's my prize card Ugh. I'm going to try to retreat. Okay. Flip a coin. If heads, you can. If tails, you don't. Ooh. Sad face. <laughs> I'm poisoned still, right? Yeah. You, you stay poisoned until you get rid of it. You can attack, though. I can attack. I just can't retreat. Um, nightmare. Okay. I'm asleep in between turns. I'm still sleeping. Hate that. Drawing a card. Make sure I did my poison damage. Fast turn. Still sleeping. Take ten more. I'm st I'm, not, I'm not confused anymore, am I? Because I I think did. you still are. Statuses stay. Ah. Uh. Until you get rid of it. All right. We're going to put an energy on the Porygon. Mm -hmm. Potion. Yep. Retreat. Mm-hmm. Wait, Nightmare did damage, right? Huh? Yes, it did do 20 damage, yep. I actually did 40, because I'm weak to Psychic. Ooh! Okay. Well, no retreats, so Nightmare again. Yep. I need to stop playing this game with you, because you always <laughs> get heads. Always get heads when I don't want you to. Okay, Pigeon. I'm sorry, it's dumb. That's why they got rid of the coin flipping after like Gen, <laughs> gen 2. You get a prize card. <sighs> Drawing a card. Guess I'm putting energy here. Uh, Peck for 10, and then you take 10 more. Yep, uh, between turns. Ugh, okay. Energy on Abra. Mm -hmm. Sabrina's Gaze. Each player shuffles his or her hand into their deck and draws that the same amount of cards. I had three. Two, three, four, five. Thank you. I had two Weezings in my hand. Aww. Terrible. Maybe you'll get a coughing this time. I had nearly all energies in my hand. So I'm like, uh, you know, is the thing most plentiful in this deck. One, two, three, four. Five. <laughs> 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 
retreat. Thank goodness this retreat cost is zero. <laughs> right, I've lost a lot of energy. There you go. Your status is get removed. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Porygon, go. Barrier attack. All damage done by attacks to Sabrina's Porygon during your opponent's next turn is reduced by 10, does 20 damage. Okay. Uh, Weedle with an energy. Peck for 10. I mean, zero actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Ah, okay. Just in case I ever get a cadaver, a cadaver or Alakazam. <laughs> I'm gonna supercharge it. Barrier attack for 20. Okay. Primer. Energy. I'm gonna do Fusion City Gym. That's why I don't do Fusion City Gym. Retreat. Mm hmm. Kramer. I'm going to do Sludge Grip. If your opponent has any bench Pokemon, flip a coin. Ooh. If heads, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch with the defending one. The new Pokemon is now poisoned. Choose Abra. Abra, huh? And it gets poisoned. Uh. <laughs> All right, in between turns. Yeah. Why did you even? You didn't attack, did you? No, it doesn't do damage. Oh, that it is an attack. Okay, yep. Never mind. <sighs> Energy onto Haunter. Mm -hmm. I can't synchronize because we don't have the same amount of energies. Oh, wait. Retreat! Mm -hmm. For zero. Porygon. Barrier attack for 20. Reduce the next attack done to it by 10. Energy. Future City Gym. Gonna shuffle Pigeon. Uh, I'm gonna try the Sludge Grip again. Okay. Nothing happens. There you go.
Barrier attack, 20. Okay. Drawing a card. That doesn't help. Fusion City Gym. Nope. Sludge Grip. Nope. Here you go. This reminds me a lot of Misty. Oh, I need heads to do anything? Too bad. Bill. Wish I had that. Sabrina Psychic Control. Flip a coin if heads choose a trainer card in your opponent's discard pile that isn't put in play. You may use that card as if it were in your hand. If you do anything required in order to play that card, it, yep, the card stays in your opponent's discard pile. Okay. There you go. I think there's only like one in there. Yep. <laughs> Well, I already played it, so I guess I should just go ahead and play the Gear Gust of Wind then. Uh, <laughs> what are you targeting? Weedle. Okay. Barrier attack, 20. Drawing a car, and there's another Weedle. The energy on it. Sharp, Stinger, so it does 10, which doesn't matter. Flip a coin, if heads, if anyone is now oh, yeah. poisoned. If tails, if anyone is now paralyzed. <sighs> heads, you're poisoned. Sucker. Oh, it was one of those mm -hmm. poisoned or paralyzed. Okay, here you go. That's a lot of energy. Is there a max hand size? It's usually your starting hand size. Okay. But I don't even remember seeing anything about that. So, nope. <laughs> Barrier attack, 20. Knocked out. You're still poisoned. Card. There's a coughing energy sludge toss for 10. And then between turns, you take 10 more. Yep. Yeah, Brony. Evolve Abra into Kadabra. Mm -hmm. Psy Shock for 30. Yep, 60. Okay. Energy on Coffin. Sting for 10. Bing. Here you go. Ghastly. Drowsy. Evolve Kadabra into Alakazam. There we go. Play a potion to heal it to full. Mega burn for 60. Okay. 
Ekans. Let's go. Energy on coughing. Fast acting poison. If I flip a coin, two coins. If both are heads, you're poisoned and confused. Well, take ten, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't matter. Can't use Mega Burn again. Um, but anything you use, I'll take double. Play a Jinx. Mm hmm. That's not worth using. <laughs> not gonna use fade out, return Sabrina's Ghastly and all energy cards attached to it to your hand. I think that would be that if I used it like that. Yeah. So nope. It, but it would do 60 damage, which would not Oh fade yeah, out. duh. Fade out. Yeah. 30, 60. He dead. Not surviving that. It's down to full energy cost. Well, Koga, this is what happens when you rely on cone flips. I'm so sorry, Koga. Oh, well. That literally happens every time I try to coin flip with the decks. It's bad. Really bad mechanic. It's weird that a lot of these decks use it. And they're so detrimental if you get tails. Some of them are like, this attack does nothing yep. if you get tails. Like, wait, what? Why? Should Why I at least, it? like, do 10 damage or something? Well, we saw Beedrill. It didn't do a whole lot, but we saw it. Yep. It would have been more if the coin flips were heads. Sorry, Beedrill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That's these decks, right? It is. The fact that Haunter doesn't have to coin flip, but a, a, a lot of other things do. Yeah. Kind of nasty. Didn't see a wheezing. Had two of them in my hand, but no coughing until it was too late. I didn't never drew any extra cards either. I don't even know if there's any draw in here. I know there's a plus power. Uh, full heal. Even though Koga's the one doing statuses. What? Just wants to be immune from it himself. Yeah, there's no bills or to. anything in there. No! It's so bad. It's like, bro, just put a play set of bills in all these decks. Like, if I make them gimpy. No, if you had a bill, you might have done something more. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well. Well, that was Koga versus Sabrina. Koga tried a little bit. That's not, the not, way the cookie crumbles. Not hard enough. Well... Thanks, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, we'll have uh, Sabrina, <laughs> Blaine, and Giovanni next. Ooh, last two tr gym leaders. It's weird that they made gym leader decks and not like Elite Four. Yeah. They just. I don't know. We could have had like Lance. Lorelei, Blance, mm -hmm. uh, Bruno, Bruno, Agatha, and then your rival. An Agatha one would have been fun. Ghosts, even though there's only the ghost line back then. That would have been so funny if they had a, a champion blue deck. Mm -hmm. <sighs> they could have done a champion blue and like a red deck, like a blue and red. Darn. They could have used like their manga teams or something. Oh, well, so many missed opportunities for fun <laughs> things from 20 plus years ago. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys next week with uh, Blaine versus Giovanni. Bye. See ya.